My name is Allison Detmer and I am eight months pregnant with a very active baby girl. I was adopted 32 years ago. I was the result of an unplanned pregnancy and my birth mother cared enough to carry me to term and put me up for adoption and I was placed in a loving Christian home. And as a result of that, my entire life, I've been committed to the idea of um, how important it is to protect unborn life. And I've given to organizations like Piedmont Women's Center in the past. I've supported them. I have um, been an advocate for the unborn uh, for years. However, when it's you, and you are standing in your bathroom with a home pregnancy test, that doesn't stop you from considering the option of abortion. I thought I could make the consequences go away. I thought I could avoid the shame of uh, having to tell my family and my church, the awkwardness of talking to the father of this child who I was no longer seeing. And I thought that maybe I could walk away without having to accept those consequences. But God brought back to my mind Psalm 139, where it talks about how not only God sees everything that we do, He already knew what was going on. I can't hide that from Him. No abortion or um, covering of my actions is going to keep that from God. But that He also knows about this tiny life that's inside me. And the Bible says that He formed us in our mother's wombs even before our mothers knew about us, God knew about us, and He knew about this little girl. And that was really what convinced me that that wasn't an option, that it never was an option, and I needed to find another way. I had to pursue protecting this life that God had given me, and the scary part was still ahead of me, telling my family, telling my friends, my church. And I wasn't quite ready for that, so I thought of Piedmont Women's Center. I felt really composed in the moment, but of course, as soon as the lady answered the phone, I started crying, and she was so patient and kind and waited for me. One of the things that happens when you go to Piedmont Women's Center is that they shower you with things. They shower you with information and um, pamphlets and education, and they also, um, give the girls gifts. Terry came to me on my way out the door and she said, I have this blanket for you. And I said, you really need to save that for somebody that needs it. I'm not in need. Um, please save it, give it to someone that could use it. And she said, well, I feel like you could use it. And um, she gave me this blanket. It touched my heart because it was a symbol that someone that doesn't even know me or know my unborn child cares. Um, very deeply about both of us. And I spent the next couple of days still not telling anyone, feeling very alone. And for some reason, I slept with this blanket every night. It just brought me comfort. It reminded me that there's people out there praying for me. And um, it really meant a lot to me. There's not just doctors, there's not just nurses or technicians or counselors, but there's people that give of their time, um, whether they're making blankets and praying or um, giving donations. All of those things matter. They all play a really important role in making women feel loved and safe. And I'm so thankful for all the people at Piedmont Women's Center, all the different roles that they play and how important each and every person there is and how important it is for people to give and to um, give of themselves either through uh, monetary donations or prayers or anything else that you have to offer. So to all of the sponsors and volunteers and workers at Piedmont Women's Center, I just wanna say thank you for everything that you have done for me and that you do for so many women. It's made a huge impact in my life and changed my life completely and I know that you do that for so many others as well.